Hi and welcome to this video on our multi-sensor CO, the ACD. The ACD is the second and newest multi-sensor developed for our adjustable ESP sensor range and complements the existing ACC multi-sensor. A multi-sensor is a single sensor that features more than one sensor name to recognise the presence of multiple physical components of a fire. Most typically, these are smoke and heat, as in the ACC. But the ACD has been developed with the three sensing elements, the smoke, heat and carbon monoxide, or CO. Traditionally, CO detection is integrated into a multi-sensor to assist with very early detection of smouldering fires, which release CO gas, usually before the presence of visible smoke or flames. The ACD employs several modes where the CO sensing element is used to enhance the sensitivity of the other sensing elements to better detect a real fire over a false alarm. But this sensor can also recognise the threat of carboxyhemoglobin toxic poisoning, commonly referred to as carbon monoxide poisoning. Now this is usually suffered as the result of either a sudden high exposure to CO or a prolonged exposure over time. So the ACD comes equipped with modes that monitor for both. The ACD has also been developed with the reduction of false alarms in mind with some clever software features. In the modes featuring the reduced false alarm function, the sensor will automatically adjust the sensitivity of the optical sensing element over time, learning from its surrounding environment from the moment of installation. It does this through a highly sophisticated algorithm which continually monitors the analog value reading from a series of multiple samples of the environment and calculating an average value. This moving average value is memorised by the sensor over time to determine the environment's baseline reading. We call this groundbreaking algorithm Suitable Moving Average Time, or SMART. If no transient activity is detected within a set time period, the number of samples used to calculate the moving average is reduced, in effect adjusting the sensitivity of the sensor to its environment. If the environment remains clear for another set period, the number of samples used is reduced again. However, any transient activity will result in the sensor automatically switching to the maximum number of samples to quickly determine whether the transient is the start of a real fire or a false alarm such as steam, burning smoke or cigarette smoke. In this way, the sensor remains as sensitive as it needs to be based on its environment. The ACD is supported by a number of market-leading fire control panels and operates on Hochiki's world-renowned, robust and reliable ESP Open Protocol, giving specifiers, installers and end-users an open choice on system design, installation and maintenance, and therefore complete control over costs. Let's take a look at the sensor on a working loop. Now, for the purposes of this video, we are, as you'd expect, showing the ACD on Hochiki's own control panel, the Latitude. So, here's the Latitude touchscreen, and we already have located the ACD on loop number one. And you can see here the usual multi-sensor parameters that you'd expect. But I want to show you how easy it is to change the operating mode of a connected ACD. Remember, we have 24 to choose from, so this ACD is currently set at mode 9A, which is actually the default mode. So, out of the box, every ACD operates on this mode. And this mode is a general catch-all type of mode, suitable for your average, no high-risk areas type of environment. You can see here the two-digit mode number and also this string of characters here. These represent the sensing elements we were talking about earlier and which ones are active in this mode. I'll explain these mode strings in a moment. But to change modes, we simply use this menu and we are presented with a mode list, each mode represented by a button. And to select a new mode, we simply tap on one of those buttons, tap on Apply, and finally tap on Submit. And that's it. This ACD is now operating in a different mode. We'll just check that. There we go. The modes, as you saw there, are represented by mode strings, characters and symbols, showing which sensing elements are active and in which combinations. 
here's a quick guide to recognising these note strings. So the letters represent the type of detection. So we have S for smoke, meaning the smoke chamber is active in this mode. There's FT, which means the sensors thermistors, the elements that detect heat are active and set to alarm at a set temperature. ROR represents the same heat elements, but set to activate after a rise in temperature over a set time. CO, as you may have worked out, represents the CO sensing element. And finally, for those modes that track CO density, giving a warning about the threat of CO toxicity, there is COHB, and this is the chemical symbol for carboxyhemoglobin, the cause of carbon monoxide poisoning. As well as those letters representing the various sensing elements, there are a couple of symbols in there too. The plus symbol denotes the primary detection element making the fire decision. The forward slash symbol denotes the detection element is working to enhance the primary element. So for example, in the default mode from earlier, 9A, the mode string is plus S, stroke FT, stroke CO, plus RFA which shows us that the smoke chamber is the primary sensing element, supported and enhanced by both the heat sensor, set at fixed temperature, and the CO sensing element. The plus RFA shows that the ACD's advanced false alarm reduction, SMART algorithm, is also in play. It's important to note that a supporting sensing element cannot generate an alarm by itself. It's just there to confirm the fire decision reported by the primary sensing element. Now, we recognise that with so many modes to choose from, the system designer or installer might need some guidance on which modes to use in each environment. So, we've produced a couple of useful guides for you. First, we have the most selected tool, which people have started calling the ACD Spinner. It's a quick and simple to use guide. There's a selection of typical installation environments in the edge. You simply line up the arrow and the tool will give you a recommendation of both day and night mode. We've also produced a more in-depth guide to the ACD modes in the form of a mode guide booklet. It explains fully how the ACD operates, how the smart algorithm works, and then details of each mode in regards to what's actually happening inside the device, as well as a list of recommended applications and uses. And it comes with a handy pocket to keep your mode spinning up to hand. It's worth noting that these two items are meant for guidance only and that it's of course the responsibility of the installer to correctly risk assess the environment and install the correct fire protection. Thank you for watching this video on our ACD multi-sensor with CO. We hope it's been useful. For further information, please visit our website at the address on screen where you can download further information. Don't forget, you can also follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn. To subscribe to the Hochiki YouTube channel and be alerted when new content is available, please click the video now. See you next time.